This video will be a quick introduction to project number one and a demo of Excel. If you need additional help, please contact your instructor or go to the tutoring center in F315. Once you download the Excel project number one from Blackboard, you will see the screen. The first thing that you need to do is go and increase or maximize your Excel spreadsheet. Now you'll see that there's instructions and multiple tabs. The instructions are on one tab. If you move your mouse to the income statement, you'll see the actual project that you need to complete. So we're going to go ahead to the instructions. Um, just so that you can see, here's everything that you need to do. Okay. So you'll start with the income statement. And you can see here that the title's already been given. The first thing that you need to do is change the company's title to your name trucking company. How you can do that is put your mouse on cell A1 and if you either double click on it you can see that you'll actually be able to move your um, cursor within that document or um, you can go ahead and just hit F2. F2 allows you to edit the cell. Um, anytime that you're in a cell that you don't know you want to get out of, you can either hit the escape or the enter key. Okay, so if I go back in there, I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to scroll over and use my delete key or my backspace key to get rid of the asterisks and the underlines and change this to my name. Okay, when I hit enter, now that the title's been changed. Okay. The instructions here say to go ahead and type or copy the account names in proper format using the income statement on page 67 as a guide. So if you open your book to page 67, we start with revenues, okay, and then you want to go ahead and find your revenues. In this case, it's trucking fees earned, so you can go into the next cell and type in trucking fees earned, or you could just go ahead and copy and paste. Okay, to copy, you can go ahead and just um, take this cell and you could go ahead and use the buttons up top so there's a copy or you can just do a control C okay, move back over and do a control V or you'll get a paste or you can use the paste button here okay then we're gonna have total revenues next you're gonna have expenses and again, I've got all of these expenses here. If you use a shift key, okay, you can go ahead and grab a whole bunch of um, cells. Okay, You don't have to do that. I'm teaching you a couple of tricks here. You could just do control C, move over, and use your paste button, okay, or control V, as in Victor. Okay, next, I'm going to go ahead and grab all three of these titles, so shift, Use the arrow down. I'm going to do a control C and move back over and control V. Okay. Now I need a total expenses. And finally, we're going to have net income. Oops. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and move this line over. Do you see how um, cell B here? Um, interferes with column A. So you can just move that over by going in between the two, the A and the B. Hold down your left mouse key and move it over. Okay. Now I have more of a clean spreadsheet to work with. At this point I want to pull over my numbers and the biggest goal of this spreadsheet is not to hard key your data. Hard keying it means I'm actually plug typing in the numbers. Okay, the best thing about Excel is that you never need to hard key your data. When your data is typed in for you as it is over on the right hand side, you can go ahead and create an income statement and then anytime you manipulate your data, it's going to automatically update your income statement or your spreadsheet. Okay, so how to use formulas here? We can either use an equal or a plus sign to start the formulas. Okay, I'm just going to use an equal sign and then I need to tell the spreadsheet where I'm grabbing the information. Okay, if I go over to my trial balance, I'm going to grab trucking fees earned. So I just go ahead and click on the mouse on cell M2. 
what is that, M14, and hit enter. Okay, now if I go back over, and again, you can always delete, hit escape, or hit enter to get out of a cell. If I look at that, my formula is M14. Okay, I didn't hard key 121. And my total revenues, again, equal. And I only have one, so I could just go ahead and go back up. It's going to equal cell B7. If I had more than one revenue, it would be equal B7 plus B6 or whatever other cells we had. Same thing for expenses. I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to go and find my first expense, my depreciation expense. So that equals L15 and hit enter. I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining expenses. Equals, hit equals, move down to cell L17, and finally equals cell L18. Okay, if I do a control squiggly, you can see that all of these are formulas. Okay, nothing has been hard keyed. And again, that's that control squiggly. It, the squiggly is up at the upper left hand corner of your screen. Now I want to go ahead and do another formula to total my expenses. So I'm going to say equals. I can go ahead and do this two ways. I can either equal, grab cell B11, plus the next one down, plus the next cell down, plus the next cell down, hit enter. Or, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to just say, um, up at the top there's formulas, so your menu should show you formulas, and if you do an auto sum here, it's going to automatically sum everything within that column. Okay, if I wanted to grab more, I could change what I'm grabbing just by holding down that left mouse button okay, and scrolling. Okay, when I hit enter, it gives me my formula, my total, subtotal. And now net income, remember, is revenues minus expenses, so I just want to hit equal. Grab my revenue, total revenue, put a minus, total expenses, enter. Okay, now I've got my net income, the, everything again, if I control squiggly, it's all formulas, nothing's been hard keyed. Now all I have left is formatting. If you look at page 67, and actually I didn't even quite do it like page 67. I didn't do two different columns and you can do that if you want to. Um, just go ahead and we need underlines. So there needs to be an underline before each subtotal. Okay, and I'm finding those underlines under home. Okay. We need a underline under total expenses and we need a double underline under net income. Okay, how do I find that? If I go up to this border, use a drop down menu, I can find a bottom un or a double underline there. Okay, final thing that I want to do is to center my title. Okay, and the first thing I want to do is find out where's my page cutoff. So down at the lower right hand corner of the screen, I can find the page layout button, and that'll show me where my page cutoff is so that I can go ahead and center these each of these um, titles. And the way that I'm going to do that is to highlight the first row across the page, and I'm going to hit this button called Merge and Center. Okay, same thing for the second line, merge and center, and the third line, merge and center. Okay, now you've got your completed file. You would go ahead and save it, save it using your name, and upload it back into Blackboard. Okay, there's many different things that you can do with Excel. This is just a quick rundown of a basic use of it. Um, I used some tricks. I didn't use everything, so there's multiple ways to do things in Excel. But this is just a quick intro. Again, save it and upload it. And if you have any questions, see me or the Tutoring Center. Thank you.